Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody, Boyd back with you. Well, we're starting on our Polar Lights 1350 scale Classic Enterprise build. We're doing this one as the regular production version. Building this one up for John. And uh, this is part one of the build series. What you see in front of you here are the uh, paragraphics photo etch parts for the bridge detail and some of the other areas on the ship. And I'm going to be working with the small little uh, bridge first and getting the detail done on that. So what I'm going to be doing right now is annealing these uh, photo etch parts. Some of you guys may have seen this done before. Some of you may not have. And basically, you just take a little bit of heat here. I'm using this little portable torch. And we're going to... Uh, my torch is getting a little low on fuel here, so it might cut out on me, but you can see what I'm doing is just lightly heating these up. And um, this is called annealing, and that's really all we need to do there, guys. I don't need to heat it up any more than that. You can see how the, the sheet kind of contorted there just a little bit. Don't worry, we didn't hurt any of those parts. Um, what that does is that makes the brass parts a lot more pliable and flexible. It's a standard thing that you do with most photo etch parts. And that'll allow us to bend them and fit them into the different shapes that we need, and they'll stay that way and get rid of some of that spring action that the brass parts normally have. So what I'm going to do is let those cool off just a little bit, and then I'm going to come back and steel wool these while they're still on the sheet. And that will make our paint adhere to those a lot better when we get ready to paint those little pieces too. So we've got certain ones here that uh, we're going to be using. We've got some detail here um, for the view screens that go all the way around the circumference of the bridge. And then there's some uh, little railings and the tops for the, uh, uh, it's probably going to be really hard to see. Let me see if I can set this down on here and then zoom in on it for you. The bridge is not much bigger than a quarter, actually. Uh, let's see if I can get you a little closer to it here. Uh, and it's hard to see because it's transparent, but uh, you've got your uh, view screens here at the top. And you've got your uh, main view screen here in the middle and these little uh, control panels that are all included here in detail on the uh, photo etch parts. And then you also um, get this nice little uh, decal set that comes with it that you actually uh, can put these on the um, tops of these uh, photo etch parts here. And when you have it uh, light blocked properly, these little individual control panels will be lit up. So that will be really cool. So what I'm going to be doing now is um, I'm going to let these cool. Like I mentioned, then I'm going to steel wool them and we're going to start uh, laying down some paint on the bridge. I'm going to light block this first. Basically start off by painting the bottom with some uh, primer and then we're going to start uh, hand painting in some of the individual detail on this. So we'll be back with an update on that in just a little bit guys. Welcome back everybody. Well here we are uh, showing you the uh, little mini bridge about the little quarter size bridge that we finished uh, painting and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'll zoom in on it for you here. Like I said, keep in mind this thing's only about the size of a quarter, so I think we did pretty good with getting a lot of detail put into this. You can see that uh, I've got all the little uh, uh, screens, that uh, the space scene screens that we saw on the upper perimeter all the way around the bridge. Uh, we've got our turbo lift doors painted in there, and I didn't use the um, uh, photo etch uh, handrails there. They were just too, too small to work with for me, but I painted in the... Um, uh, little legs on those and if you once that's down in the model and the lids on the, the little dome is in there it's going to look like they're really uh, has some black legs on that and uh, it looks really nice you can see when I turn it around here I'll kind of get some light on it there's our uh, view screen that'll light up when it's in the model with it's got a little uh, decal on there with a uh, picture of a planet on it and there's our other panels now I want to turn the light off here and hit this with my flashlight this is the reason why I wanted to have it tilted for you guys so you'll be able to see it hopefully um, uh, let me go ahead and turn the light off here and then hit it with my flashlight for you. I'm going to back the camera up just a little bit so hopefully it won't go blurry on me, guys. So here we go. <clears throat> okay, if you look in there, you can see that I've got a bunch of different colors uh, on our little control panels. And then when I um, uh, tilt it a little bit more, you'll see that uh, I have the blue kick panels down in there around the floor that we saw on the show. And uh, so I really think that's going to be kind of neat. And John, that's going to look really cool when it's down inside the model, and I hope you'll like that. It'll be something really interesting that you can show your friends when they're looking down in there. A neat little detail. You can see that the uh, all the control panels and everything are all lit up. And uh, keep in mind, guys, like I said, that's about the size of a quarter. So um, I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. Let me back this up so my camera will regain its legs here. 
and uh, let me put this down flat now I had to have it tilted so you could see those uh, those edges in there and I'll get you in close on this thing again here in regular light but uh, I'm really happy with it I think it turned out pretty nice and uh, painting something that small is not easy and uh, I think it turned out pretty nice and clean so that'll look really nice down inside the, uh, the saucer of that so all right we've got the bridge finished up already guys uh, the next video I'll update you again Sunday night and um, we'll show you the um, uh, shuttle bay that we're going to be working on. I almost forgot what I was going to talk about there. We'll show you the shuttle bay, and we're going to start working on that and getting, getting our painting done on that and getting it assembled. And uh, uh, we probably won't be doing much uh, lighting on that yet because that'll be done right when we get ready to install it. But uh, anyway, here's the bridge. So this is tonight's update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you uh, Sunday night for another update on our classic Enterprise buildup. So we'll see you then, guys. Take care, and happy modeling, everyone.